Hi everybody, it's Donna, your homegrown gourmet, part of the Gourmet or Good Enough team with my sister Diane. This week I have a dear friend that's celebrating a birthday. She loves everything lemons, so I thought I would make a little treat. I have a recipe for key lime bread, and I thought I could switch out the limes for lemons. So let's get started. So to start my lemon quick bread, I'm going to take a two thirds cup of softened butter. I'm adding two cups of sugar. We're going to beat this until it's nice and creamy. So the creamed mixture is fluffy. Now we're gonna add four eggs. two tablespoons of lemon juice. And this was one very juicy lemon I had today. I got about three tablespoons. I'm gonna hold some of it back for my icing. A couple teaspoons of lemon zest. And again, I'm gonna hold a little bit back for my icing. One teaspoon of vanilla. I have three cups of all-purpose flour, and I'm adding three teaspoons of baking powder, one teaspoon of salt. Whisk it together, and then we're going to alternate dry and one cup of milk with my bag. So we'll start with the dry mixture first. Add a little bit of that. Mix it in slowly. A little bit of milk. Hmm. That is thick. Woo! It's a nice batter, folks. That is such a nice batter. At this point, you can put nuts in if you'd like. You can mix in some blueberries, maybe even raspberries. I'm just sticking with this batter for now because this is my friend's favorite and I wanna make sure she's pleased. So my oven has preheated to 350. I greased a couple loaf pans. I fill about two thirds of the way full. See if I can eyeball that. I'm gonna fill my other one. And we'll see where we're at. In the oven, 350 for about 50 to 55 minutes or until a toothpick or a cake tester inserted comes out clean. While our lemon bread is cooling, I thought I would make a quick glaze. So I have about two thirds cup of confectioner sugar and I held back some of my lemon juice. I'm gonna start with about a tablespoon. I'll stir that up. I want a nice thick glaze. You could put a little bit of uh, vanilla if you'd like. But I'm gonna go for all out lemon flavor. You know, powdered sugar is just super fine sugar. So if you ever need powdered sugar and don't have it and you can't get it, well, you could put some sugar into a, uh, like a coffee grinder and pulse it till it becomes super powdery. I've done that when I've been desperate. And it works. Oh, look at that. Isn't that great? Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and add my um, lemon zest. It's going to real, be real pretty when I drizzle that on top of my cooled lemon cake. Or lemon bread, I should say. There we go. Perfect. I'm just gonna cover this up real quick so it doesn't create any kind of crust. Just took the lemon bread out of the oven and it's been 50 minutes. It's completely dry on the inside so I know they're done all the way through. 
I'm gonna leave them in the pan for 15 minutes before I take them out and then I'll allow them to cool completely before I put on my glaze.